Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now this is a radio that I've had knocking around in the cupboard for quite some time and it's not really a new radio. However, I do think it's worth a video. Now this won't be a full in-depth video about this radio as the purpose of this video is to showcase a newish programming tool that's been developed for this radio and others like this. The Retivis RT73, also known as other models from other manufacturers, is an extremely small dual band FM and DMR mobile transceiver. The RT73 is more or less a mobile version of that GD88 handheld, but with more power and a quite a decent speaker microphone. And the radio supports a frequency range of between 136 to 174 MHz for VHF, and then 400 to 480 megahertz for UHF. Now, when it comes to RF power output, there's two settings, low and high. Now I measured these power levels and we do see around five watts on low power on both VHF and UHF. And then on high power, I observed an output power of around 18 and a half watts. And that was for both VHF and UHF. So that was quite impressive. And the radio itself measures just five inches across, three inches deep and around two inches high. So if you're limited on space, then this is the perfect mobile radio. The front panel has a forward facing speaker, one rotary control and the speaker mic socket along with the screen. On the top, we have a row of buttons, which are for on and off, volume, squelch, and of course, programmable function buttons. On the rear, we find an SO239 socket for the antenna, a cooling fan, the power cable, which is not removable, and an SMA socket, which is used to connect the included GPS antenna. Now on the side of the radio, we have a little small flap held in by a small screw. Now this is weirdly enough labeled as another speaker mic connection, similar to those that we'd see on Kenwood's or other Eastern manufactured radios. However, this port is also used for programming the radio. My radio came with a programming cable, which uses the prolific chipset. Just ensure you have the correct prolific driver installed on your computer before programming, otherwise you might run into trouble. Now we'll talk more about programming shortly. Now pushing in the rotary encoder once centers into menu mode. Now this is where you can go through each of the settings. There's actually quite a lot within this radio and the menus that's shown will change whether you are on FM or digital DMR. As this radio has an inbuilt GPS receiver, which does actually work quite well, this radio supports APRS. Now that's APRS for both analog and digital modes. So you could set VFOB to beacon your location while using VFOA to talk and communicate with others. Now I do quite like these little icons. It makes it feel a little bit more professional in my opinion, and definitely better than just having a list to scroll through. This kind of reminds me of how ICOM do their radios. Now the original CPS or programming tool distributed by Retivis for this radio is, well, rubbish. It's full of bugs and constantly crashes. However, David MM7DBT has spent a considerable amount of time developing a code plug editor for the Radio Oddity DB25 and GD88. However, as the DB25 is essentially an RT73, it also works great with the Retivis RT73, i.e. this radio. Now this code plug editor is super simple to use with most features and functions laid out across the labeled tabs. Even though it's fairly easy to change settings on the radio, being able to do it in software and back up these settings is extremely useful. The menu system on the radio is configurable. You can turn features on and off so they don't appear on the radio. It's just the case of ticking or unticking that feature. The other settings tab provides access to all those annoying tones and beeps. I just turn off all the beeps I don't want to hear using this feature. Well, which is pretty much all of them. You can also pre-program quick messages for when using the digital message system within the radio. Specific DMR settings can also be altered on the DMR settings tab. Within this tab, you can also enable or disable those remote control settings so you can stop others controlling your radio. The APRS tab allows you to configure analog and digital APRS, choosing the transmit frequency, call sign and destination along with power levels. 
Within the beacon location settings, you can either use the inbuilt live GPS receiver or enter a fixed location. Digital APRS settings can also be set within this tab, so you can choose a specific talk group to send your APRS data to. Now this is a really nice touch. The speaker mic has four programmable buttons and the way David has programmed this tab makes it super easy to understand. You can also program the four function buttons that are on top of the radio from this tab with each button having two functions, one for a quick press, a second for a long press that makes up to 16 functions programmable from the software. Also, you'll notice each button highlights in red when you start to edit it. RX groups are also easily configurable, allowing you to create a group of received talk groups. Zones and channels are linked together on the last tab here on the right, making it easy to create new zones or edit existing ones. Now, before you start making your own repeated database on the software, David has included a feature which allows you to enter your location and automatically download repeaters within a search area from Repeaterbook website. Now this saves time programming your RT73 as it's all done automatically. You can choose all repeaters or just choose between DMR or FM repeaters. Okay, so we have a way to automatically populate the memories with local repeaters. Now what about digital ham contacts? Now a digital ham contact is an entry in a database which uses a person's DMR ID and then it has a name and location associated with it. This is so that when you're receiving and talking to somebody, their details will show on the screen. Now in the past with other CPS software, we would have had to download the CS file from a website like Radio ID and then manipulate it somehow and then try and download it to the radio. Now with Code Plug Editor, that process has been simplified. All you need to do is choose which countries you want to take digital ham contact information from and then generate the contact file. You can then download that to the radio. Now be warned though, downloading large contact lists to the radio takes a long time. I think I generated a UK and US contact list and even though it took seconds to generate from the internet, it took a good 20 minutes to download it to the radio. But it's not really an issue because once it's done, it's done. And it's independent from the other radio programming. This is uh, M0DQW, M0DQW, just checking audio on the Retivis RT73. M0DQW, checking audio, over. This is uh, M0DQW, M0DQW, just checking audio on the Retivis RT73. M0DQW, checking audio, over. Anyway, guys, that's the Retivis RT73, an extremely small dual band mobile radio that supports FM and DMR. Now, let me know if you guys have got one of these radios and how you get on with it. I do recall that there were some issues with this radio when it first came out, but with this latest firmware that I've got installed, I haven't really come across any major issues, and all the functions and features have seemed to work as expected. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.